Hello everyone, welcome back to Junior Starts. Today we're gonna to be talking about the bullseye and the 25, and specifically, do you aim for the bullseye when you need a 25, or do you just aim for a 25? Now, the reason I ask, because I was kind of curious what the professionals do. I put a poll on Twitter recently, and as you can see, most people actually aim for the bullseye. And I thought this was kind of weird, because you are then essentially hoping you would miss. This is for instances where maybe you start on 65 and you want 25 double tops. And I thought, well, that's what most people do do. Is it what they should do? This is gonna be looking at actually what is better. And to find that out, we're gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna throw 50 darts aiming for the bullseye, and I'm gonna throw 50 darts aiming for the 25. And they're gonna see how many 25s I actually hit from each, and that'll determine what we should be doing going forward. If you like this video and this kind of content, please make sure you hit a like just down here as it does help me and the channel. Also, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe for more fun videos like this coming up. We've got loads of stuff coming up. And whilst I'm here, I just wanna thank everyone that has subscribed recently and it's helped the channel grow massively. So thank you very much. Let's do it. So first of all, aiming for the bullseye. Nice. I mean, there's nine that have blocked that, but that's two 25s in the first visit. Not bad. So unfortunately, bullseyes don't count in this game. Another bullseye. Hit more bullseyes than 25, so. And again. That's another bullseye. Robin Hood. Lovely. So, there we have it. I threw 50 darts, aiming for the bullseye, and I hit 12 outer rings, so 12 25s. 12 out of 50 is pretty bad. But if you consider that I also hit nine bullseyes, so in theory I did hit more 25s than bullseyes, aiming for the bullseye, but I think nine is quite high. Overall 21, not bad, but only 12 25s when aiming for it. Let's see how I get on now, aiming for 25s. <laughs> Definitely something about it. So there we have it. This is throwing, aiming for the 25, the green bit around the side. I must say, I found it a bit odd. Um, I usually throw for 25, I think, but it just, I think it gave me bigger room for error. Uh, I was a bit more wild when I was aiming for the green. Maybe the fact that you're not going for the dead center has an impact. Anyway, onto the results. Aiming for the 25, I only hit seven outer balls and two bullseyes. So in theory, that's nine times hit, which compares to 21 when aiming for the bullseye. So Definitely aiming for the bullseye is better. I got 12 outer balls compared to seven and, and nine bullseyes compared to only two. And I think it is probably better hitting the bullseye as opposed to hitting a random number on the outside. So yeah, there you have it. Scientifically proven, if you are on 65 or find any other example where you want to throw for a 25, make sure you actually aim for the bullseye because you're more than likely to hit a 25 if you do. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you on the next one.